Hey guys, and welcome back to Ultra Sun. Team Skull has thrown down the proverbial gauntlet. We have to head to their hideout in Poe Town to rescue the Pokemon that was stolen from the Ava House. So, essentially what we've already done in, uh, you know, the Sun playthrough, but uh, this time it's more exciting because it has the word Ultra in front of the title. That's good. It's just like other great games with Ultra in front of it, like Street Fighter. You guys haven't owned that game, right? Just imagine buying it again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, again and, and again. Again, and again, and again, and again. Yeah, why not just come in fourth at like a top regional tournament again, and brag about it for years to come? That's not sad at all. Whoa, whoa, that just, that took, that took a turn I kind of saw coming, but at the same <laughs> time it was still really out of nowhere and just suddenly vengeful. I kind of like that side of you. Please do that more often. I'm more spiteful than I let on. Don't fucking cross me or I will write passive-aggressive emails to you. I don't know. It kind of started out like macho and derailed pretty quickly. That's the kind of guy I am. I go all in and burn out. It's better to burn out than fade away, a great man once said. Yes, we're gamers. Don't fuck with us, man. Oh, God. No. No! Oh, he was making such a good point about games being art, and he had to end it on the most cringy note possible. Yeah, uh, very cringy, and I've seen some of our earlier work, so that must be bad. You know, when I was doing the uh, the cut for um, Kingdom Hearts 2 Abridged, and look out for more Abridged cuts of uh, HFC playthroughs. Uh, the next one's going to be Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, by the way. Um, I older commentary... It wasn't that bad, it was that there was a lot more like gaps of nothing and the gaps didn't feel natural, they just felt a bit more awkward, like we didn't know what to say, you know what I mean? Well, you also have to remember back then, and uh, the thing I'm about to bring up, it's not a jab at you, I'm just saying, this is kind of how you were, and lately you have eased up on that, which is very appreciated for that. Back then, you were very much more quick to restart and apart if it wasn't going right off of the bat for that. And we did that a lot. Yes. And it kind of drained after a while for that. These days were a lot more flowing, natural, free. You've allowed me to unleash my joke-telling skills to become more powerful than I've ever been before. And uh, hey, guys, you know, hey, five is more than one, just saying. But, you know, these days it flows a lot more naturally for that. Back then, it felt a little bit more stilted, but that's just how we did things back then. I get it as like a charm to the earlier stuff, but I honestly believe the commentary, it just works better now. Like, I'm not trying to be that, that type of fan who's like, stop focusing on the older stuff where it was more natural and fun and you didn't earn money. Where, where the fuck is this coming from? This rage within my soul. I like it. It's good, yes. At last I understand true power. They were all right from the very beginning. That's like, this is, this is Tom embracing the power of destruction, finally. He's become the god of destruction in YouTube terms, I guess. This is me trying to be topical about Dragon Ball Super, and I haven't fucking seen Super, so please work with me here, alright? Worthless. If retakes can't save this commentary, then I shall cast them aside. Oh yeah, I forgot Grimsley was in this. They, I, I think how, like, in this version... Like, they actually tell you, oh, look for this motherfucker, instead of you just going, oh, it's Grimsley. He just shows up out of fucking nowhere and helps you. Is there a law reason why he's wearing a kimono? Because he didn't strike me as the type of guy to wear Japanese garb. He kind of looked more like a gangster in uh, Gen 5. He was obviously the uh, dark type Elite 4 member. There. I've always liked uh, Grimsley. I don't know, his design's pretty nice. Dark type is a, a good type to use in such a uh, formal setting as the Elite 4. I don't know, he's cool. I don't know, I'm more of a fan of Karen, personally. For reasons. <sighs> it's the midriff, isn't it? She has a midriff? Oh yeah, 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 you're, refer you're referencing her redesign. Her old design was that, that skinny little black dress number that, oh, was so satisfying. <laughs> There's something for everyone in Pokemon. You can either go retro fag and you got the black number, you can go for the uh, exposed stomach in the new version. God, we're pervs. Ah, <laughs> I can fuck it, right? Awesome! My favorite character now, that's basically how it goes. Ugh, I'm uncomfortable now. Yes, let's get on the water. We'll use the Sharpedo to bust through the rocks. And, uh, oh look, way in the distance over there. That's one of the things that I was talking about, the Afer caravans and whatnot. 
Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about now. But, um, it, it's good now that, uh, we're getting that upgrade to Surf for that, because once you get Sharpedo, there's really no other reason to use Lapras Paddle, uh, for that, except in, like, I think there's, like, a few things that Sharpedo can't cross that Lapras has to cross, but for all, as far as I know, they're few and far between. I might even be getting this wrong, so there's really no point using Lapras anymore. Let me see if there are any restrictions to Sharpedo while we battle this trainer here. Ride Pokemon. Because it's like Helldragon says, at this point, like Lapras kind of has been outclassed by Sharpedo. Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, the player can fish from Lapras's back, but that's about it. Yeah, Sharpedo you can't fish on top of. Okay, alright. And since I never fish, ever, in these games... That's why, obviously, Sharpedo is just so much of a better pick all the time for me. I will say one aspect of streamlining that I don't care for in um, Gen 7 is the fact you can only really fish in those designated spots. It kind of takes a lot of spontaneity out of the world. I kind of get why they did it to, um, I don't know, cut down on the chaff of you trying any given point to fish and not getting anything, but uh, I don't know, I like that spontaneity. I think it also has to do in terms of game design properties, because you have to remember the old games were built on that grid based system, and it was a lot easier to designate that, hey, this is an area you can fish in. With the 3D graphics and the less grid based design, you, you would probably have to be a little more creative in the context sensitive areas you would be, you know, doing it at uh, for that kind of thing. So I think that's why they kind of switched to the system that they have now. Yeah, I agree. Do you miss the grid system at all? I don't know, I mean, like, well, look, obviously, I'm a fan of G1 and G2, but you have to admit, those are games that are products of the times. These days, um, they have introduced a lot of stuff that does not only streamline the Pokemon experience, but makes it more convenient, that kind of deal, because back then, they were just doing the best that they had with the technology uh, they had available. Although, personally, I don't necessarily mind if a, gra if a game is presented in a certain way as long as the gameplay is good and it uh, will have some modern conventions in mind. Like, shit, you'll go on Steam and you'll fucking trip over buttloads of retro games with modern mechanics uh, implemented. And, so, and that's not necessarily bad. I happen to like the old retro style for that. I mean, I'm a big fan of, again, like classic Game Boy games things like that but you know if it's got modern sensibilities in there to a degree like you don't go nuts okay make a game which is what i'm saying guys <laughs> make a game when you're putting out a game make a game thd 2018 yeah these are game design rules first off make game two must be game must be good game cannot be bad those are basic that's basically it you know just you'll be successful that way <laughs> Oh god, don't take business advice from people who talk over games for a living. Well, I mean, Helldragon has an IRL job, you can listen to him, but uh, don't ever listen to me. Well, do, but just praise me and don't take my advice to heart. Where was I going with this? Uh, yes, in Gen 8, I would like them to continue the streamlining of stuff, but I, at the same time, I would also like them to make the world more dense with content. Like, I've, I've kind of come to miss the block puzzles and the environmental stuff. Like, I've heard tell that uh, in the Rainbow Rocket arc there's uh, more stuff akin to, like, um, the Team Flare hideout and so on from Gen 6, but uh, I, I just miss that kind of stuff, because you can just go through, like, you dig, like, cave here and that's it. You don't have to do any kind of puzzles and whatnot. Granted, you didn't have to do that in Gen 1, but uh, just more cave stuff in general and the like. Make the world feel a bit more challenging to traverse. I kind of want to see, and they're probably not going to do this until the next time they remake this game, but I kind of want to see Gen 1, you know, like Pokemon Red done in this sensibility, Gen 7 here, for that. Like, what would they change? What would they keep the same? How would it look for that? I think that's kind of an interesting thought experiment. Well, I, I can tell you right away, they'd probably use a lot of the uh, the models and one that they made for uh, Sun and Moon to recreate the Savvy Islands. Yeah, that's true, that's true. For that, would they, you know, I guess they'd have to include that for that kind of thing. But I mean, just as long as you get the OG and they kind of streamline some parts of it for that, but keep some parts of it the same, I think that'd be fine. Um, like I said, they'll probably remake it down the line one of these days, so. What would the name for, like, the new red and blue be? Because we had Fire Red and Leaf Green, so what would the new red and blue be? Pokemon Ultra Red and Ultra Blue. Uh, Crimson Red and, um, Ocean Blue, maybe? Ah, uh, I know, the Blue Hurricane and the Red Cyclone, there we go. 
Beautiful Joe and Captain Blue. Henchin' a go-go, baby. Alright, that makes sense. <laughs> really want to run Beautiful Joe on the channel one of these days. These things, um, I don't know what to say about them. They kind of make me uncomfortable. They're the pre-evolutions of the Jellicent Pokemon, remember? Like the uh, the blue one, the, the pink one? Yes, and uh, depending on which gen you get, they uh, evolve into, you know, a different form of Jellicent, and uh, I don't know how a ghost can have a gender. It's dead. But uh, as we have seen in such classic literary tales as Sonic Knight of the Werehog, ghosts can indeed have gender, so shut your mouth, Tom, you're misgendering again. I'm kind of surprised you didn't bring up that comment I made one time, where I was just making a joke on, like, I think it was, um, well, wherever I had seen it from, uh, where we just kind of making a joke about the fact that the ghost has boobs, for that kind of deal, and we're like, what were we talking about again? <laughs> I just completely forgot. Oh yeah, I forgot you wanted to fuck a ghost. Yeah, that's cute. Well, shit, it's not my fault they made her so hot. Okay, I'm merely, I'm merely acting like the dude I am. Just saying. I mean, if there's a hole, it's a man's job to thrust into it. Okay. Not touching that one with a six-foot barge pole. Now I ask of you, Frelish, can a ghost get ahead in life without being impeded by other ghosts? I ask you this willingly. Please don't use ghost-type attacks on me. Yeah, just, just don't hurt me at all. I'm very sensitive to being hurt. Just, 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 I just, it's something I'm dealing with, but I need the help. Just don't hurt me, period. Oh my god, they are spamming Surf something fierce. Pretty good, considering it hits both the opponent's Pokemon at once, but Jesus. <laughs> I never thought I'd uh, want it to be relegated to a HM again, so NPCs couldn't use it willy nilly on me. Oh yeah, I forgot it used to be an HM for that, yeah. Goodbye. You missed him completely, and then that somehow killed him. Just call me Hawkeye, because I always hit my target. <laughs> I guess you couldn't have an arrow hit a Pokemon dead center in the fucking face, you know? I haven't seen Penny One of Hawkeye in any of the Infinity War, like, promotional material. Probably because the guy's smart enough to stay home and let them deal with the giant purple grapefruit with the shiny glove. Yeah, he's got the Yamcha problem in this sense, which is too bad, because Yamcha's actually really fun in, like, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. but he's way out of his league in terms of power level, even if he tried, man. Even if he got Ultra Instinct, like, Beerus would find a way to, like, just one-up him, really. Or Jiren would just do nothing and win, because Jiren sucks, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, no, I like Jiren, so, uh, no. He's better in the manga, I think. What, you read the super manga? I read bits and pieces of it, and I know more about Jiren and that one to know that he's way more interesting than that bland piece of shit we got in the anime. Interesting. Hmm. Well, uh, he's about to go rage mode at the time of this recording, so uh, we'll see where that goes. Another day, another double battle successfully beaten. And uh, there's a Pokemon Center right around the corner, which is good, because I bloody need it. And now that I've beaten you up, you cannot leave the bleach anymore. You are banished to these sands forevermore. Legend says they're still there to this day. They subsist on sand sandwiches, which they call sandwiches. It's very ironic, and they're all got dysentery by now, probably. Jesus. I'm not trying to start uh, rumors about Team Skull, but uh, I think there's like one of them giving it evils over by the drinks minister over there. The drinks minister? What is this, a fucking cult? It's just the drinks minister. That's such a weird description. Oh, come on, man. I'm trying my best with commentary here. Moo Moo, I'm talking to you, Moo Moo Milk, because I'm too busy to chew. My mom, I wish she was a cow so that I can chow down. Milk that sow. <laughs> This is, a, this is a first for me. A Team Score member who doesn't want anyone else to get the drinks. It's all mine, baby. I'm just gonna drink all the pumpkin spice and nobody can have any. You remember that thing where it's like, my milkshake or your milkshake, I drink it up. This is that guy. Is this the first time you ever fight a trainer in a Pokemon Center? I don't want to say... Yes, but it's the first one in recent memory I can recall. Yeah, because I legit do not remember any other times you fight a trainer inside of a Pokemon Center. Uh, excusing situations, of course, where, like, 
if there was a Pokemon Center that was damaged or abandoned or whatever, you would normally find it. Like, the ones in Poe Town, for example, that we're gonna go to. I'm talking about a legitimate working normal Pokemon Center for that. Hmm. I seem to recall someone in the comments saying, uh, in response to something you asked, maybe, that no, you can't date Nurse Joy, but you can battle her, so the answer to that is maybe. I don't get to date anybody I want in this game. Fuck. Could have said life there, and you would have also been correct. Yeah, yeah, that's unfortunately true for that. Now, uh, the glass house I'm currently in may be currently raining shards upon myself, but uh, at least I'm aware of my hypocrisy. Yeah, at least he's honest. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> and Tom64. He may be a fat, ugly son of a bitch, but at least he's honest about it. That'll fix all the other problems. <laughs> uh... He got a tummy ache from drinking too much milk. How precious. God, his shits are gonna just be the worst things imaginable when he's done. See, look, he just had to go to the bathroom. I know, Rotom, I know. They're gonna be... Oof. Just take a whole can of air freshener in there. No, no, I don't want... I don't want the poop milk things. I don't need... I... I... I look, I haven't had my digestive biscuits with me today, okay? I'm not ready Shut for this. Shut up! Jesus. <laughs> Delicious mom mom milk. I'll be sure to guzzle that and think of home, you fucking weirdo. Oh, Alright, one more healing spritz for the win and we shall be uh, done for today. There is one more part this week, so uh, come back next time when we shall be heading towards Poe Town and uh, hopefully finding an interesting TM in the grass and such. But uh, for now, bye!